Hi, I'm I Candy Licious, and this is my introduction to the world via iMovie Live online music magazine. I'm a female rapper, and I've been rapping since I was 13 years old, so that's quite a while. Uh, most people that know me know that I love music and I just couldn't see myself doing anything else in this world other than that. I give you major seizures because you can't handle my flow. It's like a waterfall. It just keep going and going. There is no stopping my flowing. I was talking about bars, but you was thinking about blowing. Kush, get your mind off substance abuse. Get your mind on my next move. I'm trying to move mountains like Usher, but can't do it with obstacles in my way. So move, get out the way like Ludacris said. I'm trying to be lucrative so later on I can rest my head. Not in a twin size, but in a king. I feel like the main major ups and downs in my career is not really knowing exactly who to turn to. There are a lot of times where I feel like I just can't do this by myself anymore. I need somebody higher than me, like a PR or a manager, but sometimes you don't want to just push too, too soon and go with the wrong people. And that's where the problems lie for me is sometimes I tend to go towards the wrong people rather than doing more research on my own and then waiting until the right people come and find me. And that's probably I where, where I would say I have the most problems more than anything else um, in the music, you know, at least in the musical field. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just wait. We'll wait until you do. Let me give you my microphone. All right. Hello. Hello. If more downs than ups, I would say that I would still chase music because the thing is with music is I love it. It's a hobby and when you see it as a hobby rather than a job, then it makes you respect and, and just love, love what you do even more. If you see music as just something that gets you money or brings you income, you're probably going to want to quit. But see, myself, I feel like no matter what, even if the world was going to end, I'd still be rapping and singing and doing what I love to do best because I do it for fun. But when he was done, he noticed he tore her and said, wait, what's the date on the calendar? What's the date on the calendar? She asked why he said today's a special day for her. She said, who he said my chick, I'm supposed to marry her. If you don't want to get her and be treated like dirt, then chill, girl. Although naturally I am a rapper, I do a little bit of pop, a little bit of even believe it or not like rock, but not not too much. But my style I would say is very diverse because I do all types of different music and I love to collaborate with people of other genres and that's definitely what, how I would describe my style. Haters running mouth like it's a track marathon. All I hear is the love boom in my face like the sound of a baritone. The world can hear you talking, bitch. You do not need a microphone. Damn, I press send it. This was on the cut to the telephone. Bitch, take two steps back and get the hell out of People would love to buy my music because it's the best. <laughs> that sounds so cliche, but no. Honestly, my music is very, very different from other people, but you know, a lot of people make music that is very similar to what's already out there. I like to really stand out, and I love for my music to definitely tell a story, and I love for my music to be something that people can relate to, and people can, because most of my music tells a story about my life, and I'm a person, so I go through things that other people are most likely going through as well. So that's probably why people would want to buy my music. And you know, when you're feeling a, a, a type of way, if you're feeling sad, you can put on some music that would cheer you up. I have music like that. If you're feeling like you're in a party mood, I have music that really amps you up and makes you feel like you want to party. So I have, you know, things that definitely reach out to different different people um, that are feeling whatever type of way they're feeling that day. <laughs> Uh, 
I normally don't have a specific method when I want to create my music. It's just that day I feel like writing a song, I write a song. But normally I'm relaxed, you know, in the comfort of my home. And that's when I am, you know, basically able to do my best work. But, you know, I never have a specific method. Um, I do like to kind of be locked up and alone. I don't really like to be around other people when I want to write my song because I can't really concentrate and I feel like I, I don't really do my best unless I'm actually by myself. Like literally I have to be the only one locked up in a small room. I do have collaborations and of course when I have collaborations you know whoever I am working with or collaborating with does write their half of the song or their part of the song but I write every single thing that I rap or think it's all written by me and that's because I feel like it's not really my own unless I actually wrote it I feel like if somebody else writes a song for you you can't really claim it as your own and I love to be able to say this is my work and when it comes from you you feel it more you're able to to know more about it and when you sing it it's more meaningful and the crowd can definitely see that you put your all into that that work that piece I got my bundles you thinking oh this this chain humble now I'm humble but I stumbled across that pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow I'm blessed I'm blessed with a halo I get it how I want it and I ain't even got a pay though even though I got the cash to waste though so be like hey yo let me a hundred I'm like I got it I got the cash flow and it keeps rolling like dice man I don't buy games forget the price cause it's priceless whatever amount I'm cashing out there is no doubt that I am headed up the highway, check my account. Money goes in and out and out and in. Something that a fan would not know about me. I would say probably the fact that I've lived in actually three different continents. And most people have not lived in more than one continent. And that's something that most people actually don't know about me. <laughs> so that's kind of something that would be a shocker to my fans. And while you at the bottom of the sea with a little mermaid I'm floating to the top, that's where you'll find me I'm headed to the top Headed to the top, you see Headed to the top, you see Headed, we are headed, we are This album that's coming up, the next one that's coming, because I already have uh, two released, and the next one that's coming is going to be very inspirational. It's going to be different from the last previous ones I've had because this one I plan not to do any collaborations at all. I plan to do all of the songs by myself, no features, because I want people to really get to know me better um, rather than just waiting for the next collaboration that I have. Um, most people expect that. I would do another collaboration because that's what I'm known for. But I, I want to do this track by myself and get pe you know people to really know and respect my music a lot more. The door, the landlord, he just wants more. 